Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about uh, you and the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with in terms of love. Um, we're also going to look at what's next for this particular connection. Um, as always, these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Okay, right, let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirit, angel, spies. What can Gemini expect in love? Current energies, future energies for Gemini in love. What do we need to know? Pentacles, King of Pentacles, those are the mutual energies. On your side, we have the Emperor, Aries energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. And on your person's side, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. That was my dog in the background. There he goes. Um, okay, and then what's next? We're going to put these down here. We'll flip them in a second. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is Ace of Cups. Wow. Interesting. Ace of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. On your person's side, Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. And on your side, the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. Gemini, I feel like you're waiting for someone to take action, a specific someone. And they're doing things in like, a specific time frame wheel of fortune knight of pentacles is very careful king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy also very careful energy they don't rush things so i find it fascinating that i feel like you're waiting for this ace of cups and you've been wondering if it's ever going to come because you have the seven of pentacles spirit what can you tell me about these energies for Gemini. What can you tell me, Spirit, about these energies for Gemini? Let me move these down. What can you tell me about these energies for Gemini? Second chances, rebirth, resurrection, revival. You're being given a second chance. Okay, I love that. Great energy to have. I'm using this new tarot cloth. Let me know if it's distracting in the comments or are you able to still focus on the cards? What else for Gemini? What are the energies for Gemini in love spirit? Okay, I think I got two. Difficult decision, which I feel is always plaguing Geminis in these readings. Um, we are always getting that um, that kind of message. Okay, let me get one more. Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. Yeah, I feel like Geminis, you've been waiting for this. And it's like, it's happening. It's happening. It's not that it's never going to happen. It's that it's meant to happen in this way it, yes in the most frustrating way is po you know possible that's that's just the reality that i see here for gemini's okay so let me move these over here because i feel like i'm gonna need more room and this as well put you over here okay so then let's get some clarity on these energies Do I want to have more energy? No, okay. Let's start with the mutual energies between you. This Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles energy. I think you're dealing with someone that has Earth in their chart. If they don't have Earth in their chart, if they're in Aries, for example, because the emperor is here, then they're acting like an earth sign. 
Um, they have the Ten of Pentacles on their end as well. You have the Seven of Pentacles. There's a lot of Earth here. And Earth is Earth energy is all about practicality. It's about material goods. It's about um, stability, security, something you can touch and feel. Um, it's not about emotion. It's not about action all the time. It's about careful action. So action that takes time and effort, you know. So let's get some clarity here for you. Spirit, can you tell me about this King of Pentacles? Can you tell me about this King of Pentacles? What do we need to know about this energy? King of Pentacles for me as a reader also tends to be in a commitment or providing for others or uh, a business entrepreneur, someone that owns their own business, it's very busy. Um, but I think that this King of Pentacles is just the energy that you or your person, because you can also flip this energy, of course, but it's the energy that someone I think is bringing to this offer and this Ace of Cups. The Magician is here, so exactly. This is all about how they're going about creating something, manifesting something, doing something, because the Magician is a doer. The Magician um, is all about using whatever tools, resources that you have to make something happen. So I think that this is just someone's energy in terms of like how they're approaching um, an offer, a problem, love, etc. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Wow, the Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress here. Uh, they're divine counterparts for me as a reader. Like the ultimate it couple is the Emperor and the Empress. They match each other very well. They both bring a lot to the table. Um, the Empress is more about abundance, manifestation, growth, creativity. The Emperor is more about that again that careful action the emperor is not one that makes mistakes the emperor is wise because they've been to battle often um, they make the right choices the difficult choices but they make them for the greater good the emperor is someone that has been to battle you know they're very strong and they like things a certain way so i think the knight of pentacles here with the empress is just telling me that whoever this is they're bringing this empress a very stable offer or abundant offer an offer that's good enough for them right an offer that an empress would accept tell me about this ace of cups and i feel like this is a second chance there's like a a rebirth a revival happening here um in this connection so i'm speaking to a gemini where there's like a resurrection of a connection, a rebirth in a connection. Second chances are happening here. Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like someone is going to... Okay, the message I'm getting is opening their heart. Someone's going to be opening their heart to you. This is your energy here, the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. The devil is at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn energy, again, with the earth. <laughs> I feel like someone's going to be opening their heart to you about how they feel. There could also be explaining, oh no, this is definitely about your connection because the two of cups is right after the devil. I feel like someone had like a burning need, a burning desire. Maybe they overcame a lot of difficulties with the devil to get to you with this two of cups. I think whoever this is, they're going to tell you where they've been and what they've been through. Um, so let's get some energies for you both. Now, Gemini, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but you can flip the roles if they resonate more for you. All right, so tell me about the energies between Gemini and this other individual. Tell me about Gemini's energy spirit. What do we need to know? about Gemini's energy. Bad health, number 31. So this is kind of like the 10 of wands. This is someone that is suffering or maybe having um, difficulties, depression, 
um, their health is affected by whatever is happening. This could be stress, anxiety. Um, they've just been through a lot. So Gemini, I feel like emotionally, this is emotional. I feel like some of you have been going through emotional difficulties or just difficulties in your personal life. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies? Towards Gemini, towards this connection. Okay, we have number eight, false person. Interesting. So I feel like this person, maybe they didn't treat you the way that you deserved in the past. Maybe they're wearing a mask now. Maybe they're hiding their feelings. Maybe that's why the Queen of Swords is here with the Ace of Cups. It's like they're opening up in a way. I think that this person is not supposed to be interested in you. I don't know why that is. But I think that this person is like they're not supposed to be looking your way. It's like it's forbidden or something like that. Tell me more for Gemini and this other person. What do we need to know, Spirit? about these energies between Gemini and this other person. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. What do we need to know about Gemini? This is out of my control. Gemini, I feel like this is the problem. I feel like you have internalized the difficulties in this connection. So for example, if this is a situation where divine timing is important, right? It's all about the timing it's all about overcoming obstacles, then yeah, this might feel like it's out of your control, which is difficult for you to accept because I think a lot of time has passed. And if there is a second chance here between you and this person, then obviously you have a history. You know, there's a history there to still think about, to still kind of be affected by. So I think that there's a lot to do with what's going on here is out of your control. It's not up to you, which is very difficult for Geminis to accept. So I speak as a Gemini sun and a Gemini Venus. So I know what that's like. Plus, I'm an Aries moon. So pray for me, you know, I'm just kidding. But seriously, you know, as an Aries moon, there's that emotional aspect of me that's very impatient and impulsive, you know, dangerous combination. Okay, tell me enough about me. <laughs> tell me about Gemini's person. I made a mistake. Yes. So this person, I feel like they probably mistreated you in the past or made mistakes when it came to you or this connection. And I think that that's affecting the way that they're approaching you now. For example, if this was a person that never did anything wrong, then maybe they would have shown up a long time ago because it's easy to show up when you haven't done anything wrong. Tell me about Gemini's energy here. Tell me about the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles? There's the devil again. I feel like you know about this obstacle or issue that this person has had or is facing Gemini. I don't, I feel like you are already aware of it. Yeah, the two of cups. And it's like you are aware that this is the only thing standing in the way of you being together. That's what I'm getting here. It's like, you know, um, I also am getting that a lot of you, there's a very magnetic attraction here between you and this person, especially with the Empress and the Emperor. It's like in the two of cups here, it's like, you know, you're meant to be together. And you had a reading recently where, you know, that's part of the title is you meaning to be together with, you're meant to be together with someone. I feel like the difficulty here is that there's a waiting period and also an anxiety about the future with the Seven of Pentacles. Is something going to happen? Yeah, the star Aquarius energy. I feel like you have a lot of hope that this will happen, that this reunion will happen, this second chance will take place. You have this... I feel a burning need also for this to happen. It's like, it's not just a wish or a desire. It's almost like a need. <laughs> That's the best way that I can describe it. Aquarius energy here. So I feel like also this is hope for renewal, hope for healing as well. 
and there's the moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. This is the problem, that you don't have clarity. You don't know for sure. There's a lot unsaid. There's a lot that's not clear to you, that's not out in the open. There's a lot of things that are hidden from you. And so, of course, doubt creeps in. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. The Hangman, okay. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, okay. <laughs> Justice, okay. So, Gemini, I feel like, okay, Libra energy here. So now we have Earth and Air. Um, the Hangman and Justice, this is telling me that someone is looking at things from a whole different uh -huh. viewpoint with the hangman and justice. Please ignore my dog in the background. Um, especially because justice is all about looking at the facts. Justice is all about looking at things from an objective point of view. You're not letting your personal opinions and beliefs get in the way of what's reality, what's, what's fair, what's just, right? So when I see the hangman and justice together, to me, this is energy of someone who they are looking at things for the at in the right way and maybe for the first time so this is someone that's realizing that things are different or they've been forced to realize or look at a situation in the right way so maybe all this time your person could not see something could not understand something um maybe they were tied up also with the hangman stuck um and justice is here to kind of help them out of that justice is also about legalities formalities contracts final decisions official decisions so maybe this person has been waiting for a contract an official decision to be made etc the ten of pentacles is here the king of pentacles is here so the devil showed up and now the hangman so i'm guessing that for some of you this person's tied up somewhere else with another person. Five of Wands, yes, there's conflict here, difficulties. I feel like whatever this Five of Wands represents for your person, they're stuck or they're seeing this conflict for what it truly is. Oh, Five of Cups, yeah, there's a lot of um, disappointment here. Sadness and regret. I think this person, they have, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I feel like wherever they've been, Gemini, because they're not with you, wherever they've been, they had to be there to see something a different way. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here as well. It's, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, by the way, it's always turning. It's not always positive. The wheel always turns. There's ups and downs, highs and lows. I think this person had to experience a big low in order to really move forward because the Wheel of Fortune is all about momentum. These highs and lows, they keep things moving. So tell me about this Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy and the tower at the bottom of the deck so either this person's dealing with a fire sign perhaps on their end or they're going to be taking some sort of action here that leads to a tower either they're having a tower with another person or they're taking action that leads to a tower let's get one more for this queen of wands tell me about this queen of wands what do we need to know What do we need to know for this Queen of Wands? Yep, Eight of Swords. So this is like what they've been kind of tied up by. Again, I don't get the clarity here that it has to be another person. It could be that this person has just been afraid to take action. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So they've been busy with something else. They've been bogged down, weighed down by something. This person. That's why the Hangman is here, the Eight of Swords is here, and the Ten of Wands is here. So it makes sense that things are moving very slowly, um, Gemini. But again, it's difficult for you because it's out of your control. It's not like you can move this any quicker. So let's see, what can you expect in the near future from this person or this connection? Nine of Wands. Wow, the Two of Cups shows up again. Wow, and the Ace of Pentacles. Amazing. 
So Gemini, I feel like what I can tell you is you don't need to worry. <laughs> um, there is an offer coming. There is an opportunity coming. Um, and it's rising out of difficulty with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is someone that's been through a lot. This bad health energy is a perfect example. The Nine of Wands is someone that's been through a lot and they have not given up. They are very guarded. They may have trust issues and they're a bit defensive, but they're still kind of fighting back or, or willing to fight back if it's, you know, if it comes to that. Um, so I feel like even though this road has been very difficult, I think that you see the light at the end of the tunnel and it kind of keeps you holding on. Let me know in the comments if that's the case for you. But I feel like these are soulmates or counterparts, you know, divine counterparts even, I would say, because again, the emperor, the empress is here. And for me, they're like the it couple. And you're both at the same level. There's no pages here right? There's a knight and the rest is kings and queens. So, you know, this is like a different level. So I, I think it's safe to say that you can expect an offer, something to turn around in this connection. Your person probably has a difficult decision to make, especially if they're in a long-term commitment, which I think for most of you, they are. And I think that this person, the problem was and the reason it took them so long to make this decision is they could only see a situation with in, like in one viewpoint. And I think it kept them blind, to be honest. But I think they're waking up. I think the blindfold is coming off. I think that they're seeing something, whatever they've been dealing with, they're seeing it with new eyes. And maybe they're coming to an acceptance that things are not going to change or things cannot improve or this isn't what I want for my life. You know, that takes time to realize. And I think that's what's happening here, Gemini. So I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to be clarifying a little bit further this outcome. And then I'm going to look at this person's intentions for the future, for the near future. I want to know because I know they're thinking of taking some sort of action. But I think also they're like in a waiting mode, you know? They have the magician, this is your person's energy. They know that they wanna do something about this. But I wanna get more insight into what that is. So feel free to join us in the extended is linked in the description box. Um, thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, I would love to have you. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed and continue to support my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you all in another video very soon. Take care.